As you can see over here where I sprayed the water, ants now have reestablished their pheromone trail. They feel comfortable there now. However, over here where I sprayed the other pesticide, the ants are still um, not, not crossing it. So the next thing I'm going to do is put some baits out and I'm going to show you the difference between using the sprays and the baits. Um, the first bait we're going to use is the uh, granular insect bait. Um, works for all pests. Um, roaches, crickets, uh, sow bugs, pill bugs, silverfish. Um, works really good for ants mostly. Really be done pretty simple. It's just a scatter, scatter bait labeled for one pound, um, one pound per thousand square feet. So I am going to just lightly put the bait around the outside of the house here. And by the time we come back around, there should be should be a lot more ant activity from from drawing them up out of the the colony. We're going to put a little a little right there. And you can already see you can already see the ants are going kind of crazy. They really think they've uh, got them something there. So um, I'm going to continue. Sorry about that. I'm going to continue around the outside of the house. So yeah, this is a uh, hard job here. I, mean, I guess the point of exactly what I'm trying to show is if you go through and spray the house with a pesticide that does not work that well for ants how you know one that uh, will ruin their pheromone scent however and they can detect the pesticide you're really chasing them a lot more than you're actually actually helping the situation so it's really important that you choose the correct pesticides when you're doing these ant treatments if you go to the hardware store or Lowe's or Home Depot and you've got some ants that you want to uh, take care of that you seen trailing around the outside of your house and you decided you want to take care of it yourself and you spray it with some good old home defense um, two days later you think uh, while well, that stuff worked good the ants are gone and then uh, five days later uh, they're worse than what they were to begin with, and they're in a complete different spot. Um, really, all you did was scatter them. So it's real important to, you know, choose the correct, correct pesticides. So okay. Now that we put the granule bait out, let's go back here again. And now, there we go. You can already see over the water spot, one of them has got him a little piece of bait there he's running off with. Um, as it goes, they're going to get a lot, a lot thicker and a lot more of them. And, and as I'm sitting here looking at it, it's real interesting to me that I'm looking at the uh, non-repellent spray over here. Um, ants are just lined up across it. Um, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, area over here that was sprayed with water and they're just carrying the baits right across it. However, I'm looking at this pesticide spot right here and the ants are somewhat going across it, but they're actually stopping at the ends of it. So. They have not reestablished the pheromone trail across this particular pesticide. 
they have the, the non-repellent pesticide and they have the water. Um, however, the, the other pesticide we sprayed, they won't, um, they won't come near. So um, definitely a choice of pesticides plays a huge role in taking care of the ants. Let's go check out some other areas. So when I first when I first examined the house, I found three or four different um, different trails around the outside of the house. Now that I've put the bait out, um, we're going to start seeing a lot more trails. So let's walk over here by the garage where there was that large trail. I'm using a couple different kinds of baits when I do this. Um, the reason being, ants change their diet um, very consistently. And uh, one hour they may need proteins. Um, the next hour they may need sugars. Uh, it all, all depends on the you know colony and what they need. And the worker ants are only going to supply the colony with what they need. Now, as I get closer, these ants don't seem to be too worried about what they have. Um, I put some gel baits out here as well as the granular and they're taking the granular really heavy. And as you can see, they're just swarming onto this gel bait. And, and the reason this is going to be in effective is they take the gel bait, um, they take that back to the colony and they actually regurgitate it into the larvae um, and feed the feed the young that way so not only are we killing these ants out here we're also going to be killing um, different generations of them in the colony of the ones we don't see and that's how you correct an ant problem is by eliminating the colony not necessarily just these ants that we're watching so become friends with them um, make them think you really got something uh, they want and uh, really they don't know it but they're carriers of a very bad disease right now to you destroy the rest of their family so if we were to go through and spray a pesticide um, that would repel the ants it would not be effective whatsoever because the ants would simply just go back to the colony and relocate to a different different area so um, some other pointers on um, ant situations is always try to keep the grass cut and trimmed um, off the side of the house I recommend taking Roundup or something like that after and only after the ants have been exterminated and kill the grass uh, three to four inches off your foundation to help stop any harborage areas helps our treatment get down in the soil better um, and things like that and then make sure you don't uh, mow your grass up against the side of the house so it always helps not have to move three inches of mulch to get to a particular area now this this area wasn't here before I put the baits out um, however now it is so um, now that the ants have coming out sorry little fella just like a magnet um, I love it it's really the only way to effectively take care of an ant colony is by using baits that they will actually actually eat and it can be really fun watching them sometimes you see they're actually coming out of that little tiny hole right there living inside the, the hollow block area and you just walk around the outside of the house and you can look for any any new trails after the after the bait's been put out after the granular bait has been put out then all the new trails will form up and I'm not seeing any more so anytime you can find some ant trails like this on the exterior of your home and the customers having a problem with the interior it's 
usually you can get away with not even have to put the pesticides on the inside of the house but you'll see that just from the different choices of pesticides that I used that if you if if you don't use the proper ones or as a homeowner or your exterminating company doesn't use the proper proper pesticides um, the problem's never going to be fixed and if you don't have an understanding of the pesticides and the baits and an understanding of how ant colonies work and and how they communicate and socialize and things like that then it's almost impossible to actually destroy an ant colony however they're easy to kill but again if that queen survives then the ants will the ants will be there so um, hopefully we've uh, went over a few things and just uh, to end this video um, there's the water spot as you can see ants are crossing it really heavy and getting on the bait beside it Re-established pheromone trail over top of it. No big deal. Um, over here to the uh, non-repellent pesticide, which I like to spray on the outside of the house. You'll see some ants not hesitating, running right through it. Um, no issues, no problems. And then let me see if I can find the... There it is. And then the third non-repellent, uh, then the third spot. Um, you will see the ants still, with the baits, will not come near that. Uh, I thought I saw one coming near it, but he ran off. He wouldn't come near it. So, um, wrong pesticide, ant problem not fixed. Um, correct pesticide, problem fixed. Um, no worries with this home. The customer's not going to have ants in their house anymore. Um, one to two treatments of uh, of doing this should should eliminate the problem. So, hopefully you've learned something. Um, if you're having an ant problem that uh, is hard for you as a homeowner to take care of, and you've been fighting it for a long time, and you live in the uh, Middle Tennessee area, uh, just call us down at the Bug Man, and we can come out and check it out and uh, see what we got to do to to help you take care of your problem. Thanks a lot.